Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you how to put your tissue in a container, a base container for either candy bouquets or a um, gift basket. Um, so if you didn't watch my video on how to twist tissue, then go ahead and go watch that first and then um, come back here and then we'll get, and you can get started with me. So what we're going to do, um, what we want to achieve is this look here, um, which is tissue going around and this takes up any, um, uh, dead space that you might have any empty space um, this area here um, So that kind of saves you money on the, the items uh, you put in there You can put less items your space is taken up. So your basket looks fuller So we're gonna start off here now what I did um, you can use a What is it called double-sided tape and a glue gun today? I'm gonna use both I prefer double-sided tape because it's faster, but I know that can be a more expensive, so you can use a glue gun. Now for this, I already lined double-sided tape around the sides here. Um, I got these containers at uh, Dollar Tree um, for a for dollar. So um, these have a little handle here, so obviously I can't put double-sided tape over that or else everything on the outside is going to get stuck to that. So that's the area that I'll be using the hot glue on. This already has double-sided tape, so we're going to get started. I have two colors of tissue already twisted here, so we're going to get started. I'm going to start off in the corner. What I like to do is in the corners, I always like to use a print. It's just my preference, so when you see it from the side, you can see a print. So I'll start, I'll start off with the print, and I'm just going to stick it on there really easy. So we're going to go around, and you don't have to bunch everything up really close. You can if you'd like to, but you don't have to, um, just as long as you... Fill the space because you what you don't want to see is you don't want to see a gap right there So you wouldn't want to put your tissue this far and then you'd have this open gap there That's what you don't want because you're going to see into your basket and that's what we're trying to prevent so You'll just go down the basket and you'll just stick it on where you have the double-sided tape already adhered so you just press it on And I'm going to do one whole side for you now I want to end this off with a print, so I'm going to squeeze this in here. So I have a print on each end, so that's what it looks like from the outside. So it gives you height, covers some, some space. Now if you wanted smaller tissue, you can cut your tissue smaller. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go start working on the sides here. So I have this little space right here. I don't know if you can see it. This little space right here where I'm going to add one tissue. That's where I have, have double sided tape before I get to the opening. So I'm going to stick that down and then I'm going to start working with my glue gun. And I just have regular um, low temp glue. Uh, I'm a low temp glue gun. So what I'm going to do is you can either put it on here directly or put it on your tissue. I just put it on the tissue. It doesn't matter. So what you're going to do is stick that way down there. So what you don't want to do is put your tissue in there and have the twist showing. Let me get on camera here. You don't want to have the twist showing in the opening if you have any openings because you don't want any gaps. So you want to push it further down so it's not showing. So I'm going to do another one. And I'm actually, for this one, I'm going to put the tissue on the container. I think that's going to work better. I mean, the glue on the container, it's going to work a little bit better. So, just a little bit, and just stick the tissue down. So that's really easy. So you want to go around the whole container doing that, and I'll show you how fast this is. So, we're going to go red here. And let's put some glue. And I'm running out of tissue here. So I ran out just for the sake of the video. I did run out, but this is what you're going to end up with. A nice base, nice fluffy base. So you can take a small container and make it look a lot larger. So that always helps. Um, It'll make your basket, your, your candy bouquet look a little fuller, have less air space. I tend to see a lot of people make candy bouquets. They'll put their, their items in. I'm going to 
take this out to show you really quick. So they'll have things in like this. And then what happens is you see all this empty air stick space. And that's what you don't want. And that's what the tissue helps you with. Now I'm going to also show you in another video how to dress up your stick. And it can, it's, actually I'll show you really quick. Take a tissue, poke your stick through the middle, and then you just want to gather gather it up so when you're making your candy bouquets also you what you'll do is you'll put a piece of scotch tape around this just to hold it and then that makes it look a little bit better so when you stick it in your gift you won't have all that airspace and that makes your items look a little bit more professional looking um, that's it for today's video um, stay tuned to the other videos in the series because I'm going to show you how to make an entire gift um, so thanks for watching subscribe bye